Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm a customer support specialist and developer here with MyDoc 365, and welcome to our series of SharePoint tips. This video will be part one of a two-part instructional video where I show you how to make a mobile application in Power Apps that connects to both SharePoint and to Microsoft Flows in order to make an easy item submission and approval process. Now, to accomplish that, I'm gonna be using a list that I have already made here. I just called it approval list, put some simple fields in there. This is where the user is going to be submitting items to, and the item these are gonna be the items that will be approved. And I've also made an app from scratch. All this has is just a simple header and two buttons that don't do anything, um, just to save time. So, to start, the first thing I want to do is connect this app to this list. And to do that, I'm going to want to go to the View tab, go to Data Sources, add a data source, and click New Connection once that loads. And once I do that, I want to scroll all the way down until I find SharePoint. And when I find SharePoint, I'm going to choose Connect Directly because I'm not on-prem. But if you are on-prem, you would want to choose this one. I'll choose Create. And while that loads, I'm going to grab the URL for the subsite that the list resides on. And I'll want to paste that in here and click go. Then I can just choose the list right there. Quick and easy way to do it. Once that loads, I'll be able to use this data anywhere in my application. It's really convenient. So the first thing I want to do is insert a form to use that data with. Now this form, I'll just keep it as form eight. and resize it a little bit. And I'll connect that form to the list that I just made. And once that connects, it's gonna add all these fields to it. And these aren't necessarily gonna be the fields that are in the default view for this list. So what I wanna do there is edit these to be just the ones that I want. I personally don't want status. I don't want when it was approved and I don't want attachments. I just want the title, the description, and who should be approving this. Once I do that, you can test it and see that it actually doesn't work yet. How we want to fix that is by actually initiating the form at some point in the application. The way you do that is by typing in new form and then the form you just made somewhere. Now I typed this in on when the application or specifically this screen of the application becomes visible. Now that's actually not going to work for us right now, uh, but it will work when the user loads the application. So right now, I'm going to put it on the clear button instead. And that will just let me show it for our purposes right here. And I can remove that later. All right, now that we can see our form, we can see that we can add data to it and use it as ever we want to. This uh, approver field is actually a lookup for searching for someone to approve. It's a, it's a person field, so that'll come in handy later. But right now I want to edit the description field. So I'm going to make this longer so that the user can have a larger area to see the description. You'll see that this text actually stays centered. I don't want that. So I'm going to go under here, actually unlock the property and change the text mode to multi-line as opposed to single line. That's going to let it take up the whole box instead of just the middle. Once we do that, we'll see it's nice, looks a lot better. And then uh, all we have left to do after this is just make it actually function. So you'll see the clear button and the submit button do not do anything yet. How we'll fix that is by resetting the form. And I can do that on the clear button by typing in reset form. Form eight. I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out for now. Uh, whoops. Comment that out too. And you'll see this clears the form, but it also gets rid of the entire form. So that's why I kept this new form on here. I can have it reset the form and then make a new form and that'll keep this form here. So whenever we enter data, it'll just clear it. After that, we wanna find some way for the user to submit the form. That's also an easy command. Just go under submit and do submit form. And the same form that we've been using. 
Once we do that, we'll also want to use new form again. so that it doesn't get rid of our form. And then our list will function a lot better and it will function the way we want it to. So if I put some test data in here and choose someone in this category, I'll choose my own user. The clear button will work as you see. And then the submit button also should work. Now that that's been submitted, we can go into our list and we see that this has been submitted, it has the right approver, it has the right data, and that's all we want for that. And for the next part, we'll, have, we'll be using a flow to have this data send an email to whoever this approver is, and then that person will approve or deny that piece of data in their email, and that will have an update in this list right here. And we'll accomplish that using Microsoft Flow. But for now, this is the end of part one. If you like this video and if it helped you, go ahead and give us a like or a share and stay tuned for part two. And thanks for watching.